The term bucket list is a useful blue collar definition of what I like to call visualization. Now I'm a huge fan of learning how to visualize what one wants in order to be clear about actions and decisions that guide those things to actually occur. This I found works for life outcomes as well as vacations and adventures, by the way. But for this point, we'll just talk about vacations and adventures. This past holiday season, I pulled some stuff out of my bucket list that had been sitting there for over 20 years. My wife and I finally, after three COVID cancellations, did our three-week cruise to Australia and New Zealand. Leaving just before Christmas and the start of the blizzard of 2022, if you recall, we spent Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in the beautiful Blue Mountains a couple hours west of Sydney. Delightful getaway, delightful people, and a great way to neutralize seven time zones of jet lag. Boxing Day, December 26th, found us log jammed in a flotilla of 3,000 boats in Sydney Harbor to watch the start of the Rolex Sydney to Hobart yacht race. Like in rallying, the spectators are way crazier than the racers, and the enormous racers with their 130 foot tall masts were nothing short of regal. Then, relax to a couple of weeks aboard the Viking Mars to be pampered and overfed and entertained by an overindulging staff of folks whose job it was to make sure we had everything we wanted and more. Now docking that ship in Melbourne and then eight ports up the east coast of New Zealand, both the South Island and the North Island, a few more bucket list items got checked off. More than 20 years ago, I had seen a video of something called Jet Boats, that screamed up and down a shallow river in New Zealand between towering rock walls. It immediately went into my bucket. Well, check that one off my list. Damn, it's as much fun as it looked. Highly recommended. Our boats, by the way, were part of the original company that did this when Bill Hamilton, you can Google him, created the water jet technology that's used in almost every form of water vessel today. It was an incredibly educational and fascinating day. Then we spent a day on the west coast of the North Island, across from New of Auckland, observing the Murawai gannet colony. Thousands of nesting birds and their chicks, a must-see if you're ever a naturalist in this part of the world. And eventually I captained, for a few moments anyway, an actual America's Cup racing yacht out of Auckland. Albeit a 1995 model, technology has made some serious advances. My moment of clarity message for this video, keep throwing things in that bucket, grow the list, go after the ones that rise to the top. I believe that only by knowing and visualizing what you want, can you ever actually realize it. No bucket, no path. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.